good. Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Good morning. <laughs> Where's the sun? <laughs> It is a gorgeous day out here. It is still morning, right? Yes, it is technically still morning. Um, it is very cold today, but it's a gorgeous day. I am on my way to Walmart to pick up some groceries, and I also need to run by Aldi. Um, but it is Friday. Today is Friday. So it's been several days since I picked up the, the camera, but that's okay because they've been productive days. It's also Friday the 13th. <laughs> so if you know and love me, then you know that this is my, my day, my holiday. Like I look forward to this day like most people look forward to real holidays. <laughs> um, I'm just, I am a huge scary movie lover. Um, I love all things creepy, scary, horror, suspense, all of it. And um, I kind of had, I kind of have just made it my ritual on uh, every Friday the 13th. That's just my day to, to chill and enjoy my favorite scary movie. So I even have my husband looking forward to it. Like he's already texted me today talking about what scary movie we watching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so um, once I get home from the theater tonight, that's what we'll do. We'll chill in the movie room and pick out a scary movie and just enjoy each other. You know, you just have to, you have to grab a hold of all things that bring you joy, right? And scary movies, Friday the 13th, these are the little things that bring me joy. So, you know, <laughs> um, but um, I, I have so much to catch you up on. Like, I feel like I need to go home and prop the camera up properly and there go my um truck telling on me but I feel like I need to go prop up the camera properly and just really update you all on some revelations that I've had this week and um yeah so that's what I'll do once I get home from <clears throat> these two runs uh, I should still have a little bit of time left in my lunch hour uh, and we'll just chat. We'll just chat. I do have to go to, I do have to work both jobs today. Like I mentioned before, I'm at, I'm working now. I'm just on my lunch break. And then I do have to go work at the theater tonight, but we're going to make time to chat because I've got some really, really, um, important stuff to share in my opinion. All right. See you in a minute. Hey friends. Um, it is Monday, January 16th. Today is the MLK holiday. I did not have to work my main job today, um, but I do have to work my second job at the theater today. So I'm headed there now. We do have a rehearsal today and my intention was to get there an hour early so that I could pull some props, but that's not going to happen because the, <laughs> the morning has not gone as planned, um, but I'll at least get there about 45 minutes early. So I'll still be able to pull a decent amount of props before rehearsals begin. Um, I've started this video so many times and <laughs> actually for the last two weeks I've really been trying to record some content, record some thoughts, record some type of motivation or encouragement and I just have not had the time to sit down and edit it so I think I'm just going to have to delete that footage and start over because it just doesn't make sense to keep accumulating those videos, taking up storage in my phone. I don't know. I, maybe I'll be able to add some clips in to this, this footage, but I, <coughs> if, you have, if you have not been able to tell, I do feel a little overwhelmed right now. I just feel like there's so many different things pulling on my time and attention and I don't have enough time for myself. So I am trying to make small sacrifices and let certain things go um, so that other things can be prioritized like my health. I'll give you an example. Today, I woke up late. I chose to sleep in. Um, so I did not have as much time as I wanted in the morning. So by the time I got, my intention this morning was to read because I host book club on Thursday and I ain't finished with the book. 
So my intention this morning was to read and was to work on sound cues. By the time I got up, I didn't, I didn't have time for that if I was going to exercise. So I had to choose what am I going to prioritize today? Am I going to, to get this reading in and get these sound cues done? Or am, am I going to take my time for me and exercise? And that's what I chose to do this morning. Um, so there's lots of things that were left undone. My house is not in order. I mean, it's not filthy or anything like that. It's just, you know, just not as organized or as in order as I would like for it to be. But I'm having to just set that aside because I want to get my workout in every single day um, and five, during the week. My goal is to work out every single work day. So five days a week, Monday through Friday is my goal. Um, and even though today is a holiday, it's still Monday and I'm still, you know, I still got to get this meat off of me. <laughs> I still got to get this workout in. So anyway, that's just an example of how I had to prioritize myself today and I'm going to get these sound cues when I get these sound cues and I'm going to get this reading in when I get this reading in. Like I just, I'm just going to have to make some adjustments elsewhere. So that's just kind of how I'm feeling right now. So my goal this week is to find more balance to make sure that I can prioritize myself. You know that that saying, and it's corny, but it's true that the flight attendants will tell you on the airplane, you know, you've got to secure your own oxygen mask. You've got to secure your own oxygen mask before you can help somebody else. Um, and that's just kind of the season of life that I'm in right now. Um, I'm starting to realize that it is just necessary. I just have to do it. Um, I just got to do it. Oh, I this week I also need to change my workout routine so that I am working out in the morning instead of on my lunch hour or on my breaks um, because that just creates mm, I just feel rushed all day long when I do it that way um, so I want to get it over with in the morning before I even start work and the reason why I've never done that in the past is because my boys, even though they are older, <laughs> they too dang old for me to be having to like wake them up multiple times a morning, go in there, call their names, go back in there five minutes later, calling their names again. Like they are way too old for that, but they're spoiled. I spoil them. And so that's always been my reason why I never felt like I could work out in the morning just because I felt like I had to stay on top of them and I ain't trying to get up at five o'clock in the morning you know I just I just ain't there yet where I can get up that early so me getting up at the time that I get up conflicted with the time that I needed to get them ready for not get them ready but you know make sure that they were up and moving for school um but this week I'm turning that over to my husband and I will let my husband go in there, you know, two and three times every morning to make sure that they are up and moving. Um, while I am downstairs in the gym, in the basement, um, getting my workout on. So that's an adjustment that I plan on making this week as well. And you guys, I'm sorry about the highway noise. Literally, this is the only time I can talk to you. <laughs> Literally, this is the only time I can talk to you. It's kind of crazy right now. I'm just in a really busy season. Um, I have a lot of great things going on right now, and I'm loving those things. I've been really, really blessed, uh, but I just got to find balance. I just got to find balance. So let me get on to this theater. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to show you. I uh, went to Target last week, and I was looking for Tabitha Brown's new vegan line. Not that I'm vegan, but I wanted to support and wanted to buy some of her, her uh, food items and snacks and things like that. Um, and while I was there, I saw that my local Target has their Black History uh, section out uh, for their uh, Black History clothing line. And that is new for us because I live out in the sticks and traditionally or historically, my Target never had the Black History section. And I, you know, when I questioned them about it, they always said that they just did not have the sales in our area. Um, so I was really surprised to see it this year. And so 
and so I picked up a couple of things so I want to show you that um so yeah I think the next uh maybe I'll first of all I'll get some footage of rehearsal today maybe I'll do that um because I've been meaning to show you a little bit of that um and then um I'll also show you what I picked up from Target so let me get on to the theater. Let me start pulling props so that I can be ready when the actors come in for rehearsal. And if I have not already said, for this uh, play that I'm working on, I am stage manager. So it's my job to pull props. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next clip. Um, I actually thought my stage manager, my assistant stage manager would be here already, but, but she's running late, so I actually... I actually could have stopped and got me something to eat like I was starting to, but I didn't want to be more late. So I'm about to door dash something. Okay, all the lights are on. Oh, we got, so, so here's our rehearsal set. So we have a new couch. Our, Set designer has brought a new couch in. Um, hmm. Let's go look at the set in the theater. Now they were here working over the weekend. Okay, let's take a look at the set. So this is our set so far. The entire play takes place in a home, in the kitchen living room area of a home. So that is the front door. That's the door back to the, no, the entire play takes place in the dining room, living room area of a home. So that's the front door. That is the kitchen door, which would lead back to the kitchen and bedrooms and all of that. But the main action of the play will take place right here in the dining room area and what will be the living room area right here. So our set designer has built the walls and it's looking good so far. Cool. Okay, now let's head back to the rehearsal space. Okay, so here is the rehearsal space. So this couch is going to um, be in the living room, in the family's living room. Okay, so that's a good looking couch. Nice. So now what I need to do is move this couch up here and move the old couch that we were using just for rehearsals. I will move it to the dock area back there and then I'll start pulling props. But first I gotta order me some DoorDash because I have not had anything to eat today except this smoothie. Oh, here's the poster. Here's the poster for the play, Fairview by Jackie Sibley's Drury, and directed by my friend, Lynn King. Just complete chaos like little kids. Think little kids having a food fight. That's what this is about. Then I need Bets to have a seat upstage left. So in that chair there, that's right. <laughs>
So these clips are probably going to be super duper out of order because I feel like in a previous clip, I mentioned to you all that I was headed to Target and the Dollar Tree. Um, but then <laughs> days have passed since then and I never got a chance to show you what I picked up. And in the meantime, I've recorded other footage listen so everything's out of whack and out of order but i still wanted to show you what i picked up especially from target because um one of the reasons why i went there is because the day that i went tabitha brown hold on i got a message oh um um what was i saying um oh the day that i went tabitha brown had just released her line at target which was a vegan um a vegan line and um also some um like houseware items um kitchen items so i went looking for those things and i found a very small section but what i had to re remember is that my target that's close to me is not a super target or whatever they're called it doesn't have the grocery section so duh i should have realized that but what i was looking for was her snack items like she has these this jar of pickled okra that i really wanted to try and popcorn snacks and mixed nuts and i did find the mixed nuts they are on my desk somewhere um, but anyway, I need to make my way to a super target or whatever they're called. Um, the one that has the groceries in it. But while I was there, I was really excited to find that my target finally got on board with the black history month line, because for years, my target, uh, would never have any of the black history month, like graphic tees and the other clothing items and stuff. And when I questioned them about it, the uh, manager told me that they just did not have the sales in our area because I live in the sticks, y'all. So they never had a, a dedicated section. Well, this year they did. And so I was super excited. Um, so I did find, I did pick up just one, well, two items, but they match. So um, this is a hoodie uh, set and it's a cropped hoodie. And look, it's been in the bag. For days so forgive the wrinkles but uh, let me show you who the if it gives me her name Alice Butts is the name of this um, designer and um, the shirt says bold black and bougie and I thought that was too cute so like I said it's a cropped hoodie there's the hood just really cute I love the neutral colors I love this kind of uh, tan I guess it would be tan and then the dark uh, dark brown chocolate stitching and then the um, matching uh, joggers that go with this have this uh, saying along the uh, side of it so it says black bold black and bougie along the side and so these are um, I guess I don't know if you can consider these joggers because they they're not tapered at the at the bottom so maybe just sweat bottoms I don't know what to call them I ain't really that into fashion, but I thought these were super cute. And so I did try them on and I'm so glad that they fit because I had to get, they only had um, a medium in the bottoms and I really need, or I really am used to buying larges just because that's where my size has been for so many years. Um, but I'm working on that and I can tell because the mediums fit. The medium but I just thought this was too cute too cute so I just wanted to share that with y'all and um where are those nuts at <laughs> I wanted to show y'all at least hold on I did find I'm sitting here in my office y'all I got like oh I got a good 45 minutes before I gotta jump back on um, but I picked out this vegan cherry and granola trail mix. And as you can see, I'm telling y'all, it's been days since I went. So <laughs> I am more than halfway done with this, um, with this little container of trail mix. Um, uh, but this is really good. But like I said, I was looking for that pickled okra because I love okra and I love all things pickled. And I think I would really enjoy it. Um, I also want to try some of the popcorn choices too. Yeah, I think I'm going to get some of that. So that's what I got from Target. 
just wanted to share that um i also got this other top while i was there this is not part of the black history month line but i'm just i'm, I'm looking for more tops to wear during the day you know when i have to be on camera just you know plain tops and even this you know so maybe i'm doing better than i thought because even this is too big and it's a large and i think i need a medium y'all that's good news that is good news i'm trying i am trying um i hired a personal trainer who has been you know giving me my specific exercises that i need to be doing and i'm just down in the basement y'all i'm not going out to a gym i'm just in my basement and guess who my trainer is my son <laughs> my son who does all this lifting and all these weights and he's even done competitions and stuff i'm like you need to be telling me what to do instead of me hiring and paying for somebody else to do it. You need to be telling me what to do for room and board. <laughs> so he's helping me out. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you those things. Um, and then I stopped by um, Dollar Tree because I needed to pick up some things for the theater. Um, we needed more pencils for the actors to be able to... Um, take their blocking notes so I picked up um, a pack um, another pack of pencils what I was really going for is I needed uh, envelopes I needed these bubble envelopes and this size this six by nine size because I am sending a book and it's this book right here I am sending this book to a good girlfriend of mine and I wanted to mail it to her and put like a nice little card in there um, so I specifically went to Dollar Tree to pick up this envelope and um, I, I hope it fits even with the bubble stuff on the inside. I think it will. But that was why I went and I thought I would just pick up a few things for the theater as well. So I got pencils. Um, I picked up more envelopes too because we actually am, we're going to need uh, one of these envelopes as a prop. So I did that. And then um, I always like to get cleaning supplies from Dollar Tree. Um, so I got this Comet all-purpose uh, bleach cleaner. Um, anytime they have the brands that I like in stock, I try to go ahead and get them because you can't beat it for, well, it's $1.25 now, but you still can't beat it. I also picked up um, my absolute favorite cocktail is just a vodka crayon, just a plain vodka crayon. But my son loves cranberry juice too so he is forever drinking all of my cranberry juice so they had these uh these big 25 fluid ounce bottles that i uh picked up so i can just kind of hide you know what i mean do y'all have to do that with y'all's teenagers or y'all's family members where you gotta hide stuff i'm hiding this because when i want me a vodka crayon on a weekend uh or or a weeknight <laughs> I just want to be able to make my stuff. So I got the Cran Raspberry and I got, speaking of my son, he is texting me now. Um, and I got the Cran Watermelon. So I'm going to try these with my cocktail. And then the last thing I got was just a couple of snacks for the movie room. We like to keep snacks down there and so I really like um these kettle corn uh popcorn chips and what else I got um some cough drops to put in my theater bag I got I needed some travel size mascara and so they had in their little cosmetic section they had a wet and wild and no wet and wild and LA colors and I know it's cheap, um, as long as it don't run all down my face, I think it'll be fine. I just need it for my purse, and I wasn't sure which one to get, and I thought $4.25, I'll get both of them. Um, yeah, just to, just to have some mascara to be able to keep in my purse. And then I needed some tongues to keep in my purse. So that is it. That is all that I got. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, especially the stuff from Target from their Black History Month line. So uh, let me go ahead and clean up my mess. And then I got to jump back on for work. And I'll check you guys in the next clip. Bye.